Hello guys, welcome back to DK Chris Academy. By the end of this class, you will have a complete understanding of Python's join method. The join method is a string method and returns a string in which the elements of the sequence have been joined by a string separator. Actually, the join method takes only one argument, which is a treble. Well, iterables are objects that are capable of returning each member one at a time. Examples of iterables are list, tuples, strings, sets, and dictionaries. I have on my interactive Python ideally five variables already declared. The first one is a string decrease. Now the second one is a tuple containing one, two, up to four. The third one is a list containing great programming languages from Python all through to C++. The third one is a set containing just a set of animals, dog, monkey, all through to rat. While the last one is a dictionary D1 um, containing some strings by default. So now down here, I will declare two more variables called um, separator1 and I will assign it to a string, just a comma. So I will move down, I will declare another one, separator2. I will assign it to another string, uh, let me say forward slash, separator3, and I will assign it onto, let's say dash. Okay, so down here, I will write this expression. x2 is equal to, so separator3.join x1. So I assign the whole of this onto the variable x2 now down here i will go ahead and print x2 to the screen so when i print x2 so here you can see that the characters of the string x1 have been separated by a dash symbol so if i write this expression t2 is equal to i will pass in t1 now down here i will go ahead and print t1 to the screen no, no, T2 to the screen. We see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4 separated with a forward slash sign. So 1, 2, 3, 4 are the various items of the tuple T1. Okay. If I write the next expression, which says um, L2 for the list, and I will set it equal to, I will use this separator, this time separator 1. Okay, separator one dot I'll call the join operator. Then I want to separate the string L1. If I move down here and I print to the screen L1, no, oh, sorry, I'm printing to the screen L2. Sorry. So when I hit enter, now you see that I have um, Python, Java, C sharp, C separated with, with the separator one, which is just a comma. Now for the dictionaries, if I said I create a variable, let's call it cat for category and I set it equal to, this time I'm using separator2. Then dot, I call my join method, I open and close my parenthesis. Then inside, because it's a dictionary, I need to reference the variable d1 holding dictionary. Then I'll use the dot operator to access the words, the value. The dictionaries so if i hit enter oh there is a mistake there so cat is equal to separator two dot join then i open and close my parenthesis then d1 dot values so that is there should be an x there then i open and close my parenthesis then down here i want to print to the screen cats so when I print to the screen cut, you can see this long URL by joining the values of this dictionary, which are HTTPX, TKChrisAcademy.com, Python for beginners, and join method. So I got this long URL by joining them with a forward slash sign, which is actually separator two. Okay, so with this, I hope you've gotten the idea of Python's join method. Remember that the comment section is for you. You can use it to ask questions on points you didn't understand in the video. If this video was helpful to you, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your time and bye for now.